In this video, we'll be diving deeper into unit testing with Enzyme. In our last video, we just got a glimpse of what Enzyme can do and how to basically test React components using Enzyme. Now we'll be diving deeper into it by testing how dynamic JSS is rendered and how Synon comes into play. So in our last video we have covered a very basic test of how the if the render if the home component is being rendered properly let's just complete the test by seeing that if our add button that we have is also rendered properly or not and then this part portion will be complete so we'll just find the button using the add button class and we'll assert that it contains the add text now let's run the test so it seems that we have found two nodes. Now let's debug what's going on here. So we can just console log whatever we get using wrapper.debug and it should give us what exactly is being rendered. We can see that we have an H1 tag and we have a link and we have an add button class but it's rendered twice because underneath the link component we have an A tag. Now let's just try to dig deeper by targeting the a tag and then asserting it awesome so now our test passes so we're done with the basic assertion for the home component let's now try to assert that this notes this notes loop is working properly but before that we need to first mock this api call which is the list api call we're already mocking that using the node service dot list. I've already added another entry to it just to make it a bit more accurate. Now, adding a new block, let's just call this block uh, should render the notes properly. And for any kind of asynchronous tests, we always have to add a done because this will basically complete the whole API call using a callback. Now done basically means that your API call is complete and we can move on to the next step. It will basically wait for the API call to complete and send a callback. Now, in our after the render function is done, we have to um, we have to assert that um, our notes is being rendered. So the way we do that is that we have the list group item being rendered each time it loops through the notes variable. So the thing that we have to assert is that wrapper dot find list dot two dot equal two. So this is what we're going to assert. We have, we're going to assert that after the API call is complete, that we'll have a list group item of length two. So we have to, uh, we have to basically insert this inside a set timeout function because the set timeout function means that we are going to wait for this API call to complete. And once that it's done, we are going to call done to assert that this has been done. That means we can move on to the next test or it's, it's going to give us a timeout error. Now we also have to add another additional thing, which is wrapper.update. Means we are forcing the wrapper to update to have the new state rendered. So basically this is kind of equivalent to whenever you call, you know, whenever you call set state to trigger the component re-rendering, which is done here. So that wrapper.update will basically force the component to re-render similar to what set state does. So let's just see if this test works. Great, so we are rendering the notes properly. If you want to see what's going on underneath, we can just console log. And as you can see, the notes is being rendered. So we have one li tag and two li tags in total. We can now assert the in the things that are render being rendered inside. So we have a title and a description in the first block and the title two and description two in the second block. So let's just assert those. So in the first one, we're going to assert it using this. So this basically means that at the, at the zeroth index, we expect the text to contain title. And same goes for this. We have another one for description. And then let's copy this part out again for the one in index number one. So we have missed the done at the end. So let's add that. So this is what this is the error that I was talking about. This is what happens when you don't add the done. 
great so it's being rendered properly so this is this is how you assert that everything inside your component is being rendered properly i've i've shown an example of how to handle it when the case is asynchronous now we can also add additional test that will basically assert that the api call is being called so we can also expect that the node service dot list dot to dot have been called run it Great, so this also works. So this is what this base, what this test basically does is at the component did mount level, we are asserting that this API call is being triggered. And then once it's complete, which is after the wrapper.update is being called, which means that the component has re-rendered, then we can assert that the nodes has been rendered properly after the API call is complete. Great. In the next video, we'll be covering how to test React Forms.